Welcome back to another episode of Defense and Aviation Update in 10 Slide Info. In this video, we will quickly run through top three defense or aviation news headlines. Defense Update 1 On March 13, 2024, the national capital of India is all set to host the Rising Sun Conclave, one of the biggest India-Japan conclaves. The event is organized by Connect India Japan, and this upcoming edition is scheduled to take place at the Delhi India International Center. The conclave will focus on further propelling economic growth, fortifying diplomatic ties, and fostering cultural integration between the two countries. Defense Update 2 on the 11th of March 2024, the maiden flight test of the Hugni-5 nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missile, using multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle technology, was declared successful. Multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle technology allows a single missile to carry multiple warheads, each capable of hitting separate targets. This significantly enhances the missile's destructive potential and makes it more difficult to intercept. The test, named Mission Divyastra, was carried out from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Odisha. The successful test launch signifies India's entry into a select group of nations possessing MIRV technology. Defense Update 3 HAL the manufacturer of the Tejas fighter jet, is preparing the first two Tejas Mark 1A for delivery by the end of March 2024. This signifies a potential delay in delivery, since the first single-seat aircraft was targeted for delivery by February 2024. Number 3 Indian Air Force Squadron is expected to be the first to receive and operate the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet. While the initial delivery target of February 2024 was not met, the Indian Air Force expects the deliveries to commence by the end of March 2024. So, that was a video by the 10 Slide Info team to quickly share top three defense and aviation news headlines. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to 10 Slide Info for more such updates and analysis on defense and aviation. Thank you.